and a bungle. Hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going over the Falkwolf 190D9. Now this is a premium aircraft in the Invasion of Normandy campaign. However, you can go and pick up this variant as a regular campaign level unlock in the Battle of Berlin. But today's purposes, we are focusing on the premium review. So diving down to an overview, you may be asking yourself, you know, what is this aircraft? Well, this is a fighter aircraft that you can find in the logistics tab in the Invasion of Normandy campaign. This is a premium aircraft, which is going to set you back 5,000 enlisted gold, or pretty much 50 bucks. Now diving down to the performance, the real question, you know, bungle, how does the Falk Wolf 190 and D9 perform? Well, we're going to kind of dive in here with its primary armament. Starting off with its main firepower, we have two times 20 millimeter MG151 cannons with 500 rounds. Followed up with machine guns of two times 13 millimeter MG131 machine guns, totaling 800 rounds. And of course, for its secondary armament, which is pretty much going to be your main ground pounding factors, it is eight times 50 kilogram bombs. So when we talk about kind of the primary armament, when you're dealing with enemy aircraft, such as P-38s, P-51s, A-20Gs, etc., you'll find that this stop and power is very, very strong. It actually shreds a lot of allied aircraft very, very easily, even P-47s, etc. So when it comes to its role as a fighter, it does very, very well. When we talk about its flight performance, it maneuvers very well, turns very well, its speed is phenomenal, and it quickly gets to and from the battlefield very, very quickly. When we talk about the secondary armament, eight times 50 kilogram bombs, maybe ask yourself, well, you know, this is really gonna be a really good stopping power. Is it good at pounding infantry, taking out enemy tanks, etc.? And the answer is yes. If you know where to precisely drop your bombs, especially on Jumbos, Shermans, Stewarts, you will find that this does rack up a lot of kills, getting a lot of multi-kills as well. And it's kind of surprising because this is, you know, a fighter aircraft, right? This is not a BF-110, this is not a GU-2888, this is not a Stuka, etc., right? This is a fighter that has the capabilities of ground pounding, but these bombs are, of course, you know, strong, right? But for whatever reason, the 8x50 kilogram bombs perform way better than, let's say, 500 pound bombs on other aircraft in the list. Now, when we dive down to is it worth it? And the answer is, in my opinion, yes. When it comes to premium aircraft and listed, this Falkwolf, the 190 D9, or pretty much known as the Dora, the Dora is actually very, very good. A lot of the premium aircraft and listed are generally bad. There are very few ones that stand out as, you know, hey, this is actually pretty good. And this is one of them. The Falkwolf 190 D9 or the Dora is actually a very, very good aircraft. I reviewed other Invasion of Normandy premium aircraft, such as the P-51C10, and also reviewed the BF-109 G6 Premium. Those are not good. Those are just very, very lackluster. The payloads are kind of terrible. The flight performance is kind of garbage. Even the firepower in those aircraft are kind of weak. So overall, I would recommend picking up this premium aircraft. I think this aircraft is a great deal. If you see this going on sale, maybe consider picking it up. Especially if you're a new player to the campaign or you want a good grinder, I would highly, highly recommend picking up this aircraft. Other than that, if you're a new viewer, possibly a new subscriber, well, I hope today is the day that I earn your subscription, have your sub, and ask the like button. It does help me with YouTube algorithm. Return sub, return viewer, and let me know your thoughts. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.